today, we ask Member Margaret and Greg Griffin in a special way. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. As we enter into our prayer, we ask God to give us again the gift of his mercy, preparing us to receive him in word and sacrament. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Lord, have mercy. You heal the contrite of heart. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpassed the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads, and to give what prayer does not dare to ask, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. O stupid Galatians, who has bewitched you? Before whose eyes Jesus Christ was publicly portrayed as crucified. I want to learn only this from you. Did you receive the spirit from works of the law or from faith in what you heard? Are you stupid? After beginning with the spirit, are you now ending with the flesh? Did you experience so many things in vain, if indeed it was in vain? Does then the one who supplies the spirit to you and works mighty deeds among you do so from works of the law or from faith in what you heard? The word of the Lord. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, he has come to his people. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born in the house of his servant David. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. The Lord be with you. And with your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Suppose one of you has a friend to whom he goes at midnight and says, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread, for a friend of mine has arrived at my house from a journey, and I have nothing to offer him. He says, and he says in reply from within, Do not bother me. The door has already been locked, and my children and I are already in bed. I cannot get up to give you anything. I tell you, if he does not get up to give him the loaves because of their friendship, he will get up to give him whatever he needs because of his persistence. 
and I tell you, ask and you will receive, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks the door will be opened. What father among you would hand his son a snake when he asks for a fish, or hand him a scorpion when he asks for an egg? If you then, who are wicked, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? The Gospel of the Lord. Can you think of times when you were more than willing to help, excited to help uh, a child? Early on, right, when you're still very young, totally in need, you know, willing and looking forward to and expecting to help as they grow their independence, you know, helping them to walk, helping them to ride a bike, helping them to read on their own, knowing that after these steps, though, be going on their own. Maybe by the stubborn and independent, you know, teenage years or even to their 20s, you don't hear too often, unless they need money, then you'll hear from them, right? You know? So I think that the Lord Jesus in this example is trying to help us just think about the first half of this is about su suppose, you know, there's need. Right? Like, 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 you want that young child to ask for help. Suppose one of you has a friend to whom he goes at midnight. Friend, lend me three loaves. For a friend of mine has arrived. I have nothing to offer him. All right, there's another side of the story. Not just the one who's hoping to be able to help out. There's the one who, who has to come to the spot in their hearts where they say, I have nothing to offer. How, how often do you admit that? Right? How often do you say, I, I have nothing? It's usually not too often, right? I have something. I've got somebody I know who can help me, and I've got some way my own creativity will get me out of this situation. It's pretty rare that we're in a spot that we say, I have nothing. So I think the Lord is inviting us to be, first of all, comfortable in our poverty, but that comfort in our poverty has to come from understanding of, wait a minute, there's a father who wants me to ask. Like, I wanted that child to ask, and they stopped asking. And I get it, they were doing so well on their own, but they still had needs, and I could see it if only they would ask. So Jesus' roots are, are, are be comfortable in asking in that ability of, as yeah, right, I've been there. I've been the one who wanted to help before. So just allow that in your heart. I know you get to spots once in a while where sometimes we go to God and we're just like, God, we're doing this, right? You know, it's still a little bit of control. God, I've got, I've got nothing here. I've got nothing in this situation. And again, how does Jesus land this plane? How does he kind of wrap up this image as he says, you know, the, how much more will the Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? Right. If I'm simply saying, Lord, just right, give me my health and I'll get right back to serving you. Give me this job and I'll get right back to... Father, give me the Holy Spirit, and I'll know what step you want me to take next. Father, give me the Spirit so I don't feel so alone in this struggle with my health. So I feel like the Lord is showing us right. A lot of times you go to the Lord and you think you're asking in your poverty, but you're still the one in control. Asking in your poverty is saying, Lord, just give me company. Give me your Spirit. That's all I want to ask. And then we see the heart of the Father. He's like, good, that's all I wanted was to be with you in this moment. So allow ourselves to kind of look more honestly at the way we ask for help when we need it and to find confidence in a Father who wants to be with us in our poverty, in our need, when we have nothing.
we stand together as we bring our needs before our God. Let's continue to pray for Pope Francis, for the bishops of our, our church as they lead us, that they would come to go to the Lord uh, in their poverty as the Lord would strengthen them to lead the church. We pray to the Lord. Lord for elected officials, for those seeking office, that they would always, in humility, rely on God for, for the answers they need. We pray to the Lord. Lord for business leaders, for those who uh, work to, to support other people in need, that the Lord would give them great wisdom and counsel, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for areas in our world that are really at, at unrest, whether it be war, whether it be natural disaster, that the Lord might be present to those people most in need, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for generosity in our own lives, a quickness to respond to the needs of others, that God might be, who might be using us to, to reach out to those in need, um, we'll be able to reach others through us. We pray to the Lord. Lord those who are sick and those who are suffering, that they might receive the Holy Spirit as Jesus promised. We pray to the Lord. Lord for Margaret and Greg Griffo and for all of our beloved deceased, we pray to the Lord. Lord and in a moment of silence, we bring out the other prayers, petitions important to us this day. We pray to the Lord. Lord God, help us to continue to rely on you in our poverty. Make us comfortable in that need and strengthen us by answering the prayers which we bring to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands, and through the sacred mysteries, which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Douglas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my life, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
our spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume through Christ our Lord. Amen. We continue our prayer for an end to the pandemic. O Mary, full of grace, patroness of this nation and mother of the church, in this time of illness and worldwide need, we seek your intercession for the human family before your son's throne of grace and mercy. We ask for strength in adversity, health in weakness, and comfort in sorrow. Help us, O blessed mother, to be filled with confidence and trust in the tender compassion of our God. Let us not be afraid, like our own St. Mary Anko, who entrusted her life in ministry among the outcasts of society into the care of our divine physician. Continue to watch over all who are sick, as well as those who care for them, and give wisdom to all who are seeking a cure. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Enjoy the day.